Hi guys, happy Friday. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Sorry the video is late today. It's been one of those days where I've just been so drained and tired I just couldn't get woke up. Been back to bed a couple times and recently just got back up here a little bit ago. Exhausted. And that's from not even being able to do anything. I mean, oh. My body, I hate, oh, I just wished I had a new one. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> all right. Let's start where we left off yesterday with Matthew. It'll be Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 through verse 28. And we'll first talk about traditions and commandments. Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. He answered them, And why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God commanded, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever re revels father or mother must surely die. But you say, if anyone tells his father or his mother what you would have gained from me, what you have gained from me is given to God, he need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition, you have made void the word of God, you hypocrites. Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, This people honors me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. In vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Now we're going to talk a little bit about what defiles a person. And he called the people to him and said to them, Hear and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person. But what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a person. Then the disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone, they are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain the parable to us. And he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witnesses, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile anyone. And lastly, for Matthew today, we're going to read the faith of a Canaanite woman. And Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman from the region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, Help me. And he answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly.
And that was Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 through 28. And we're going to read our psalm now, which is Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect to the choir master, a psalm of David. You know I love these. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs into course with joy. Its rising is from to the ends of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, Rejoicing the heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and dripping off the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and keeping them there is a great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I love David's Psalms. And that was Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect to the choir master, a psalm of David. And lastly, for today, we're going to read our Proverbs, which is Proverbs chapter 4. Verses 14 through verse 19. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of the evil. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of the dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. And that was Proverbs chapter 4, verses 14 through verse 19. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading for... Friday, January 23rd, 2015. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I think we're supposed to get a little bit of snow. They've been putting stuff on the roads out here. So I think we're supposed to get like a coating tonight. I don't know how much some of you guys will get, but I hope everybody keeps warm. Please pray for the people and animals that are stuck out in the cold. Pray that they have a safe, warm place to stay. And we should always pray for them, not only in the winter or just one day, but always. Everyone should have a place to live. I believe Sherman and I and Dottie have been homeless before, and no one should ever be homeless. It's. I just wish we could help all the homeless people and animals that's out there. It's it's a very, very hard life, living that way. And it seems like no one wants to help. No one helped us. The only person that helped us was God. And that's all we needed. 
he got us where we needed to go and we got it home again God took care of us the whole time we were homeless and like I said brought us into a new place to live so with that being said guys I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing I'll get to see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading bye guys God bless